The new XTO Offshore uses an innovative gear case lubricant exchange system that allows the gear case oil to be changed right at the dock. This video explains how the system works and the science behind the procedure. To see the full procedure performed at the dock, watch XTO Offshore Gear Case Maintenance. If you decide to change the gear case oil yourself, remember to check with your local authorized Yamaha dealer to make sure you have all the parts and equipment you'll need. If at any point you feel like you're in over your head, please contact an authorized Yamaha dealer for assistance. And of course, please complete all service procedures in accordance with the Yamaha Service Manual and comply with any applicable federal, state, and local laws and regulations. It's best to start this procedure after the engine has been run. The heat generated from the friction of the moving parts will warm the gear case oil. This will lower the viscosity of the oil so that it flows more quickly and ensures the oil can escape from tight areas where the surface tension might otherwise hold it. The first step is to tilt the engine completely out of the water. The lower unit must be tilted at least 60 degrees out from the transom for the system to function properly. This is because the extraction tube is at the front of the gear case. The V-shape ensures all the oil is extracted. If left horizontal, the system forms an L-shape and much of the oil at the bottom of the L would not get extracted. The next step is to connect the air and oil quick disconnect fittings. On the outboard, the fittings are located on the port side of the powerhead and can be easily accessed by removing the top cowling. They're labeled air and oil. The oil connection is used both for removing and adding oil, while the air connection is for venting. In this example, the hoses can be distinguished by their gauge. The air hose is a narrower gauge than the oil hose. Connect an open-ended quick disconnect fitting to the air hose. This will allow the outside air into the gear case to equalize the pressure so the lubricant can flow. The air will fill the empty space that's left by the evacuated oil. Now connect the extractor hose to the quick disconnect fitting on the oil hose and begin pumping. The air pumped out of the extractor will create a vacuum to pull the oil out of the gear case. Once the oil begins to flow into the extractor, you can stop pumping. As long as the connections on the extractor and hoses are sealed, the vacuum will continue to function until all the oil is extracted. In this example, it's easy to see when the gear case oil is completely extracted, but of course a normal gear case is not transparent. Watch the extraction tube to monitor the progress. Once you see the extraction tube running clear with no oil in the tube, all the oil has been extracted from the gear case. You can verify this by comparing how much oil you extracted to the factory specification listed in the service manual. Now it's time to add the new oil. Be sure to use Yamalube Marine Gear Case Lube HD. Before starting the procedure, note that there are two ways of capturing the overflow from filling. An open-ended quick disconnect fitting can be used in conjunction with a catch bottle. However, the easiest and cleanest method is simply to attach the extractor to the air fitting and ensure that the air inlet is open so that the air in the gear case can escape. Next, connect the hose from the oil pump to the oil fitting. The gear case needs to remain tilted at least 60 degrees out from the transom when filling. Once you see the oil come out of the air fitting, stop pumping and unsnap the oil hose. With the air hose still attached, tilt the gear case back to a horizontal position. The oil level lowers as the air purges out of the gear case housing. Allow the air to purge for at least five minutes before unsnapping the air fitting. Notice that the gear case lube does not fill the entire housing. The Archimedes screw draws the oil up to lubricate the upper bearing. Do not attempt to fill the gear case when it's horizontal. This will result in overfilling the gear case, which can damage the seals. Remember, the engine must be tilted at least 60 degrees. However, it's best to tilt the engine completely out of the water. The oil extraction and filling procedure is now complete. 
If you have any questions, please contact your local authorized Yamaha dealer for assistance. Thanks for watching and happy boating. Thank you.